what my brother has taught me is that no matter what we go through, he was very good at always telling us that he loved us and kissing us and hugging us goodbye. The lives of a family in Pine Bluff forever changed after police say a 28 year old man was shot and killed over the weekend inside an apartment. Police have yet to make any arrests, but the family says they're confident this case will not go cold. And Ty Lisa Hampton joins us live from the Pine Bluff Police Department. And Ty Lisa, I know you spoke with the family who since Saturday must be dealing with a ton of heartbreak and maybe even some confusion. That's right, Kevin, the family of Tame Mark Jack. They tell me this was completely unexpected. They're now having to plan a funeral for someone they love dearly. Whoever pulled the trigger, whoever called my son over there for my son to be shot, I pray that they family never feels this. Sitting side by side, this family is struggling with the unthinkable. You know how people say grief goes day by day. I would say this has been going minute by minute. The moment in time that changed their lives was on June 29th before 10 p.m. when police say 28 year old Tameric Jack was found shot several times and killed inside a unit at the Village Green Apartments in Pine Bluff. Jack's family says the apartment was not his and they believe someone planned his death. This was not a random act and this was not done by a single person. For that level of anger, that got to be some type of envy. Although no arrests have been made, Jack's mother, Janelle Matthews, believes the case will be solved. I'm pleased thus far with the work that the detectives are doing. Jack's siblings say he was never involved with any type of violence. We stick to ourselves. We're not out and about in the streets. Pain they cannot hug Jack again, believing he is now looking over them. He was a gentle giant. He was funny and caring. He was very good at always telling us that he loved us and kissing us and hugging us. Janelle says she made it her mission to keep her children away from guns. And to know that somebody just willy nilly blew my son away does something that's I can't even express. That may be the biggest hurt. And although the Pine Bluff Police Department says that there's no new updates, Jack's mother, she tells me that from everything that she's been told, she's hopeful that there will be arrests made soon. Reporting in Pine Bluff, I'm Talisa Hampton. Back to you.